Hey guys, I'm going to teach you a new variation in the Karo Khan today. It comes out of the Karo Khan Tartikauer, and it's being coined the Jesse variation. So we have e4 on the first move, c6, d4, d5. This is uh, Karo Khan's structure. Knight to c3. We take on e4. This is called the classical variation. Knight takes c3. And now knight f6. So we have chess goals member Cynical playing the black pieces. He follows our Karo Khan course. We recommend the Tardic Hour. After knight takes f6, e takes f6, we have these doubled pawns. But the nice thing about this structure is we can play the same plan almost no matter what white does for the next five or so moves. We see the bishop come out to d6. Then we castle. Put the rook on e8. And then we reroute this knight over to f8. And then at this point, we start to think, okay, what's the next plan? So once we have all of this set up, usually involves the light square bishop, how do we get that piece into the game? And Cynical mentioned that a lot of times he would end up playing the bishop out to g4, and then he would circle it back to h5 and g6 and try to trade off light square bishops. But in this game, he decides to try to play for the Jesse variation. And the reason we call this the Jesse variation is Jesse was... Uh, the co-creator of the Carol Concourse and one of the early adopters following the lines in his games. And he's had numerous games with this bishop takes h3 sacrifice that we're going to see coming up. This is one you should remember because usually it's at least an equal position. Oftentimes you're just crushing your opponent if you're able to get the sacrifice in your games. So first he plays queen c7 and then Cynical puts his bishop on e6. Rookie one, queen d7. So look at how the queen and bishop are lined up with this pawn on h3. And in this case, white's in one of the better positions to prepare for the sacrifice because this bishop can drop back to f1, but it's still an equal position with best play. So c4 was played, knight to g6. This helps prepare the sacrifice because sometimes this knight will jump into one of these two squares and aid the queen, who may be sitting on h3 eventually. Bishop to d2 played. And now we see the sacrifice. Bishop takes h3, opening up the white king side. White decides to trade rooks first, which is actually a mistake, because now this rook controls the e-file. That's going to help black. G takes h3. Queen takes h3. G takes h3 there was a losing blunder. We just went from an eval of about one point for black, maybe a pawn and a half for black. G takes h3 completely busted. The game is over. Black is winning. Queen takes h3, attacks the knight. And keep an eye on this. Queen and bishop hitting the h2 square. So for example, if this knight were to move, let's just say knight e1, there's going to be a checkmate sequence. Either bishop to h2 or even faster is queen h2, followed by queen h1 because we see that rook cutting off the e-file. So after queen takes h3, white decides let's guard this knight with the queen. And plays queen to d1. Keep in mind here that white's rating is almost 2100. White's rated 2088, and this Jesse variation is working to get the victory. Knight h4 by Cynical. Beautiful move. Trying to deflect this knight. If knight takes h4, again, there's queen h2, queen h1 checkmate. So deflecting the knight, white captures on h7. Really just a small distraction. Uh, the best move would be to play king h8, or king f8 is also good. Cynical captures here, which just allows white a couple more checks to delay the mate, but we're still looking at a forced checkmate and seven moves with best play. Knight g5, Cynical takes, queen h5 check, he moves the king back. We're still threatening queen to g2 mate, or queen h2 followed by queen h1 mate. Queen takes f7, king takes f7, and white resigns. So chess goals, Carol Concourse, another beautiful game by Cynical. We just featured one of his games on the YouTube channel. And I'm going to put a link in the description to check out our free Carol Con quick start course. It's the 10 most important lines that you need to know by myself and Jesse, who the Jesse variation is named after. So go check that out. Link in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.